Hey guys, this is JNM with a new ZBrush tips and tricks video on using group loops for hard surface modeling. I have here this simple mask that I'm working on and I want to add a kind of indentation at the front. You can see that this is a Dynamesh with a quite high resolution of 1200 and the first thing that I want to do is to select the slice circle brush by pressing B and S. Here we go and then I snap the side view and press shift and control to activate this slice circle brush. When I press the spacebar I can move the circle, I move it over here and then I slice at this position. Now when I switch to polyframe mode you can see this small poly group at the front that we added with the slice. What I want to do now is to move this group right into the mesh, therefore I switch to the move tool and the 3D gizmo appears. The gizmo can be placed perpendicular to the mesh when you hold the Alt key down and click onto the mesh. But when you hold the Ctrl and the Shift key down, you position the gizmo as well but you also mask the other poly groups. Now you can move the poly group that is not masked into the mesh like this. Alright, this works but have a look at the edges. They appear to be very jaggy but we want to have crisp and clean edges, so let's undo the last operation again and get rid of the mask. To do this just wipe over the surface with the control key and the left mouse button pressed and as you can see we still have the poly groups that we added. Now go to the geometry panel and find the button group loops. The value for the polish I leave at zero and then I press the group loops button. Now you can see that there is a loop added around this small poly group at the front. After that I repeat the operation of masking the outer poly groups by holding the shift and control key and bring the gizmo to the center. Again I move it into the mesh but now the edges are very clean and crisp. And this is what I was going for. If you like you can Dynamesh this, perhaps crank up the resolution a bit, then wipe over the surface with the control key and the left mouse button pressed to Dynamesh. And here's the result with nice crisp edges. So guys that's it, I hope you like these ZBrush tips and tricks and find them useful and if you do don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support, perhaps you think about supporting me on my Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.